Good morning, everyone. This is Rebecca. I just wanted to give a quick walkthrough of the digital planner that I'm currently using, which is the Classic Planner from Good Planner. I will put a link to this at, in the description bar below, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you how I use it right now. Um, for example, the monthly view, I pretty much only put on here the things that um, maybe make up when I need to leave the house uh, or an all-day event like a holiday, um, things like that. But uh, major business meetings do not go on here, but appoint personal appointments outside of work do. So for example, uh, this was a, a an appointment where I needed to go, uh, you know, take the car somewhere, etc. Um, you know, different things. Over on the left over here is where I put my household maintenance for the month. And then I highlight uh, the little dot when I've completed it. Obviously, I haven't kept up with too much of that this month. I've had a very bad month. I traveled to New York um, and then I lost uh, my best friend this week or last week and I've just been struggling with the holidays and everything so not much has gotten done. Now uh, to navigate through this planner I literally just um, use the button at the top of the screen here um, it's hard to point to it, but um, it's the one with the pen with the uh, line through it. I, I click on that, and then I can navigate to any of the tabs that are over on the right-hand side, um, up in this corner, a day-specific, the week-specific. Any of these icons will take me to a separate page these tabs over here are used when I put that pencil with the line through it. These are also blank pages. This is also custom tabs as well as the one here, which is the yearly tracker. Um, I'll go ahead and remove all the um, arrows that I just wrote on here. But um, so now I put it onto the pencil without the with the X through it and now I can navigate to January or February and I'm just tapping uh, this is uh, examples of where some of those arrows are I, like I said it's just as simple as going to a specific week so I'll just tap on this one this is a blank week in March but let me go to January and I'll do next week some appointments that I've put on here stickers uh, that I've put on but this is the current week so over on the left hand side I have some chores my household maintenance for the week or the month I, I kind of carry it forward and um, break it down by a few at a time usually I don't have this many but I didn't do any last week so I'm trying to play catch up then this uh, area down below is where this week items are are done and then I have a little mini tracker for habits over in the bottom left hand corner at the top of the page I just indicate like my son's days off from work my my focus for the day and then my schedule now I can go to the day by tapping on the specific day that I want to go to for example today is Friday and I can write in my to do's um, my appointments and I I've been doing a little journaling at the bottom, um, I need to uh, put one of these on here because I exercised yesterday and I will um, change the uh, exercise type. So I walked for um, 30 minutes And I did legs and arms for 20 minutes. Um, 
And I can add uh, things by um, hitting on this little um, lasso tool. I can, you know, put in an image, um, you know, for example, uh, whatever I saved, I can just add in. I have stickers that I can use, you know, depending on what the event might be. So for example, if I wanted to copy that, I would just uh, lasso it and then paste it where I want it to go. Um, and I can resize it, things like that. I can still put in my um, other items if I want to, but if I want to go back to the week, I just tap that pencil icon again that has the X through it, and then I hit the this little button, or this little uh, word December is a hyperlink to the week. So I will tap it, and it takes me back to the week. If I want to go to the day again, I just tap the number, or I tap the month if I want to go there. Um, over in the upper left corner, you'll see the number 19. This is the 2019 um, tracker. It looks like the Hobonichi one, but I put things that I'm waiting on or that need to be uh, accomplished each month. And then I have this little goal tracking about. When I zoom in, you can see I want to track when I don't spend, when I've added money to savings, when I've paid off a bill, if I drink water first, at the start of my day, no junk food, if I exercised, and 10,000 steps um, uh, were, were walked that day. So I plan on doing that as at the beginning of this uh, January, so that's why there's nothing marked at the moment. But um, anyway, so we've got the whole year there, and then it starts on December and January and all the way through. For the items in the tabs over to the left hand side, I've got some financial budgeting, um, I have uh, some savings trackers, this is family, like my pets, what they're, um, what's it called, veterinarian visits, uh, some health related items, this is cleaning. And then a social media tracker. Uh, on this one, I'm tracking my subscriber list. So each month I plan to take a screenshot of how many subscribers I have. Then these are those blank pages that I mentioned that are at the bottom left corner. And then up at the top left, I have holidays. I have nothing in them. But then the next tab is lists. So these are my birthdays, the 100 books in a lifetime, the moon phases, personal, and work. Then over to the right hand side is um, where you'll find some extra. And I want to use these for tra uh, travel. This one's grocery shopping lists, meal planning, etc. And I haven't cho uh, filled out the rest of these. And those, uh, we also have a January calendar for uh, 2020. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, and I will put in a link to the planner down below. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been doing for, well, since May of this year. I haven't necessarily been in this planner, but I've been in many. Uh, this one seems to do the most. For what I need it to do for work, personal, etc. I also do not carry this every day. I put it in my, um, keep it on my desk, and then if I need to, I can sync it to my iPhone by using this um, options button in the lower right hand corner. It allows you to um, go to settings and then do iCloud and use iCloud on all your devices. You have to do it on all of them in order to see uh, your planner. And then I can pull this up on my iPhone at any time 
um, to either use a text box. So for example, um, if I long tap with my finger, I can hit text and type in an appointment temporarily. Uh, and then uh, when I get back to my iPad, make it bigger or adjust it or handwrite it in or whatever it might be. But this is the way I use it on my iPhone when I don't want to carry my iPad with me. This is how I access my appointments, etc., from the GoodNotes app. So, anyway, have a great day, guys. Happy New Year. And let, like I said previously, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care. Bye.